It's summertime, and since Greg isn't old enough to stay by himself, his parents drop him off at his grandma's while they're at work. Greg loves his grandma, but she spends most of the time knitting, and he is completely bored at her house. She doesn't have Wi-Fi or video games. The only electronic device she does have is an old television set that has metal rods sticking out of it called antennas that you have to move around in order to get a picture. It's super annoying, and there's usually nothing good on anyway. But one day, as he's fiddling around with the antennas, Gray comes across a strange signal. It comes on with an unusual series of beeps and hums. Then, a perfectly clear picture comes up. It is some kids around Greg's age, hanging out at an arcade. Greg is happy to have found something that might interest him. Then Greg looks closer and realizes he knows those kids. Even though he's new to the area, he's seen them around town. And that's the arcade off Main Street. What kind of show was this? They're just talking and having fun. And when one of the kids mentions the time, it is the exact time that's on Greg's watch. The more Greg watches, the more he realizes that this isn't a show at all. This is actually happening. He watches the friends for the rest of the day. He listens to their stories and laughs when someone makes a joke. It's almost as if he's there. He's actually disappointed when his parents come to pick him up. When he returns to his grandma's the next day, he rushes to the old TV and finds the signal again. He spends another day watching the group of friends as they play and talk about their favorite sports teams and TV shows, which are also his favorite sports teams and TV shows. Greg starts to feel as if he's one of them. He's even started referring to them as his new friends. Greg watches day after day, until finally he convinces his parents to drop him off at the arcade. Greg finds the group of friends and joins them. They are friendly at first, but soon become weirded out by how much the stranger knows about them. Greg shows up to the arcade the next day and is surprised to find that none of his new friends are there. Greg is confused. Why would his friends suddenly change their plans? Then Greg realizes they must have gone somewhere else to avoid seeing him. Greg is hurt, but he thinks that maybe if he just got to know them a little bit better, then they would definitely want to be his friend. So he watches and watches. Every day, he becomes more and more mesmerized by the old TV. When Greg shows up at his grandma's one day, he finds that the old TV has been replaced by a brand new fancy TV. His grandma thought he would like it, since he loves to watch TV so much. But Greg is not happy. This TV won't get his favorite show. Greg demands for the old TV back. His grandma says she threw it out. It must be at the garbage dump by now. Desperate, Greg goes to the city dump to look for the old TV. He searches through piles and piles of trash. It seems impossible. Then, he hears the beeps and hum and sees the glow of the television from deep within a pile of trash. Greg climbs inside the pile of trash and finds the TV. It's already on his favorite show. He doesn't question how the TV is even working or why it's already turned to his favorite show. He just lets himself be pulled in by the mesmerizing light, happy to be back with his friends. Greg was never heard from again, but they say if you go into the dump in the late hours of the night, you can still see the flicker of the old TV.